Today we're going to do something that a lot of people have been requesting to see. Since the last Airsoft Meltdown video, I've been getting comment after comment about doing another Meltdown video over this. This is an Action Army AAP-01, a insanely high rate of fire full auto pistol. And today we're going to run it until something breaks. The guys at SS Airsoft really came through on this one, from supplying everything from the actual pistol, from magazines, over 30,000 BBs, the arena that we're in right now so we can fire at a computer monitor that they actually gave us so we could just destroy it with this full auto pistol. Everything in this video is because of SS Airsoft, so I really, really want to thank them. I also really want to thank all the US Airsoft channel members because we picked up a lot of them after the first meltdown video over the 30 round per second primary Airsoft high kappa. So big thanks to all of these people on the screen right now. You can join them actually with the button on the homepage and everything that goes into the US Airsoft channel member program will go right back into the channel. Or if you really enjoy this video, then go ahead and share it so it can get even more traction. Now, I really recommend that you watch this to the very end to see what breaks inside this AAP-01 and for a special little giveaway. But with all that read and said, let's get the primary airsoft magazine adapter on this, hook up the regulator and hose, and just run this AAP to the ground. I honestly expect either the nozzle to break apart or what people are saying is the hammer will break, but we'll just see. Let's go ahead and start this up. All right, let's start this off. First magazine is going to be a hex magazine. Not even sure if these will feed, but we're just going to try it out. First mag gone. Normal mag brand mag. Done. Uh, that one's messed up. High cap magazine fully wound. That one's done. Another high cap magazine. Now. 
Governor Jim. I know people were saying in the last video that I need to wind them up to keep them firing, but we're actually winding these up to the point where they're starting to click. So we're getting about like two thirds of these uh, 300 round high caps finished off pretty quickly in just one long, uh, uh, just one long fire. So here we go. Or at least we would, but I think we just finished off that tank already. It's feeding kind of strange sometimes, but uh, I don't have any major gripes yet. They're, you're never supposed to be firing this much full auto over and over and over again, just mag dumping. But uh, that's the whole point of this. Now, it does pick up great fire at the very end of the magazines. Uh, I'm guessing just less, uh, less resistance, but I'm not sure. It's a great way to tell when I'm actually empty, though. magazine. This is just a fun pistol overall. I wasn't expecting the uh, full auto selector to keep up though. I was expecting this to already blow already. All right. 
that stop itself. Just for that Mac. Mid tap. Alright, for whatever reason, thankfully Gunny Gunner is here. My GoPro keeps on dying over and over. The SSD card error message keeps popping up, so I guess we're done with that. But the gun itself is still going, so I'm just taking off my battery pack. It just keeps on jamming a lot. That's the only real issue we have. But I guess we can just keep going on. Let's go. Let's go ahead and try it out. Maybe it just doesn't like that magazine. It double fed on that one. It can't already be done with that full tank. Yeah, it's got to be already done with that tank. What's your PSI? What is it shooting at on the chrono? Uh, about 350, I think. We uh, chronoed it before we got in and started doing this. Right. Now it's double feeding. The nozzle break? Oh, it's not even on. There we go. The nozzle is stuck forward. That's a break. Ooh, that feels that feels chunky. Wait a minute, let's try. You can see that. The nozzle is stuck forward. Nothing. It's still stuck forward. <laughs> Got that on cam? Yep. Nice. Let's It's smooth when there's nothing. Okay, no, no, no. It doesn't want to go back. There it is. Whoa, 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 did you see that? Yep, it's broken now. It completely ran away from me, so. Let's see. I think it might be done. I, if you're that or it's so dry now. Yeah, I can't get through. I think we got a bit of a dangerous pistol now. Yeah. We're gonna call it right now. We're gonna go see if we can oil this up, see if that's the problem, or if there's actually something really major on the inside. But I think the pistol might be done. But we'll go ahead and take it apart and see what's, what's broken with it, if anything. That rate of fire is a major drop, and the nozzle stuck forward again before we even finished off that magazine. And it's like rock solid. Nope, nozzle no, stuck forward. Dead. I think we killed it. I can't even get it to drop the hammer anymore at all. <laughs> we lived it up, we checked it out, so I guess now we'll pull it apart and see if the hammer broke or the nozzle is completely broken. This meltdown didn't go to plan at all. I say it's about time I retire this old GoPro because this isn't the first or even the second or third video it's messed up due to an SSD card error. Big shout outs to Gunny Gunner for helping me out by the way. But what happened to the Action Army AAP-01? How many shots did this $100 full auto sidearm go through? Well, less than I expected it would. We only used up about 5,500 BBs. The computer screen was absolutely destroyed, and 
so was the disconnector inside the AAP. The nozzle was also worn in enough that it sticks forward and jams the AAP almost every time. All that full auto just wrecked this thing. But with a little work, I'm sure anyone could rebuild it as long as we didn't destroy the inner barrel and hop up along the way. The inner wear wasn't too bad, but I expected a little bit more from the AAP, to be honest with you. Will we return to this pistol in the future for a round two? Maybe. I just hope that we can score a bunch of Tracer BBs and have a brand new GoPro by that time. But what about that giveaway I mentioned earlier? Well, because you watched this entire Meltdown video, SS Airsoft wants to treat you with a little chance to win a brand new Action Army AAP-01. I couldn't have done this video without them, so think of this as an extra thank you. Just make sure to be subscribed to the US Airsoft channel, turn on all notifications, hit the like button on this video, and comment thank you SS Airsoft. After that, you'll be set for the raffle that will begin one week from now at this time. Just be sure to come back to your comment to see if you won the raffle. And if you would go ahead and follow both SS Airsoft and me on Instagram, then we'd really appreciate that. You'll know exactly what we're doing away from YouTube that way. Oh, and don't forget about the US Airsoft coupon code on Airsoft GI. We really appreciate it when you guys support the people who support us. So make sure every time you shop on Airsoft GI, you use the coupon code US Airsoft to save 5%. Airsoft GI does a lot for me, just like how SS Airsoft did a lot to make this video happen, and how GNG Armament keep us stocked with new stuff to review and give away. So check them all out with the links in the description down below. And if you're interested in helping sponsor the next Meltdown episode, then feel free to donate through PayPal with the link in the description, or by simply becoming a US Airsoft channel member. That way you can enjoy exclusive perks like shoutouts, getting to watch videos early, or even helping pick what video comes out next. The button to do so can be found right on the US Airsoft channel homepage. But until that next video drops from the city of San Antonio, this has been Scott Hollenbeck, and I will be sure to see you all next time.